look, I've added more to the flip book. Yes, I see. But it looks kind of bug-eyed to me. Ugh! These island mosquitoes are eating me alive! Bet you wish you were a ladybug right now. What? Ladybugs shoot a stinky goo from their knees that's poisonous to other bugs. Now there's a natural insect repellent. I'm starving. Well, some fireflies never eat because their lives are so short. Is that supposed to cheer me up? Cassie, look at my flipbook of an island. Now, the final touch on my masterpiece. What did you add this time, Salvador? I get it, a water bug. Cassie, check out this flipbook, a self-portrait. Hey, stop bugging me and let's go. Now look what's happening. Hey, stop plugging me. Look, I've added more to the flip book. What did you add this time, Salvador? Hey, stop bugging me. Hey, stop bugging me. Look, a cousin of the scissor mouth beetle, Doodlebug. Now Doodlebug's got company. Ooh, don't tell me, it's the scissor mouth's cousin, Shutterbug. Let's see what happened with Doodlebug and Shutterbug. Picture this. Jitterbugs! Hey, Salvador, I just got a brainstorm. Oh, I mean, brainstorm. Brainstorm? That's a great name for a website. This treacherous terrain reminds me of that Ecotech mission in the Himalayas, where we hiked up 10,000 feet in two hours. Salvador, it was more like two feet in ten hours. Oh, yeah. This is one of our most challenging missions so far. Yeah, it is. And I can't wait until the rest of the Ecotech team and the world sees the rare findings on our website. Each station draws us one step closer to finding out the mystery of the swarm. And each minute draws the swarm one step closer to us. Let's go! Salvador, can you guess this number? It's greater than the square root of 5 and less than pi. Pi? Speaking of pi, I am hungry. That's not the number. I found a bug on the website. A bug on the web? Won't the spider be happy? Uh, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 4. I'll go out on a limb and say the square root of 8. Ha! Close, but you're not on the right route. Let's pick up the pace here. Yeah, we've still got more territory to cover. But never fear, Ecotech is here. I just love flying that helicopter. It's one mean machine. I like to think it's above average. Oh, great. Statistical humor.
messy. Sounds like thousands of chainsaws. More like millions. <gasps> Looks like we're about to find out if they really do eat everything. Salvador, come on. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Well, this is first-hand observation. <sighs> there goes one theory out the window. Well, let's check our website. Looks like all stations are buzzing away. <laughs> our site's getting heat from all over the world. Chalk up another successful mission for the Ecotech team. Due to the outstanding efforts of the Ecotech team, the truth behind the scissor mouth beetles was uncovered. Check it out, Salvador. They don't eat everything. They're eating all the dead and decaying vegetation. And the dreadful legends were put to rest. Cassie, don't press the panic button. But something new just came up. But don't worry, it's just this little situation. The much feared scissor mouth beetles have fueled dreadful legends of destruction and chaos. Scientists are determined to record data about these mysterious creatures. An immense swarm of the seldom seen scissor mouth beetles is headed to the remote island of Polygonia. Members of an elite science team have been sent to the island to prepare a global webcast. Salvador, we're almost there. I'll start our final approach. So, Cassi, do you think these insects really eat everything? Salvador, you know that's scientifically impossible. Hey, I think I can see all nine stations. Looks like there's some pretty treacherous terrain to cover. Yeah, I plotted out our course and calculated the time needed to complete all the calibrations and satellite connections. Time for a radar check. Uh-oh, don't press the panic button, but I think we've got a little situation. I've heard that before. What's up? The swarm is traveling significantly faster than expected. How much faster? Well, at this speed, it'll arrive at least eight hours earlier than we anticipated. And it looks like the swarm is much larger than anyone thought. Well, this throws off all our calculations. We'll have to revise our plan of attack. The only attack I'm worried about is what'll happen if they get here before we're ready. Let's fly! Hey, Cassie. Did you know there are over 300,000 species of beetles? Hmm, I wonder how long it would take you to draw them all. Not nearly as long as drawing all 10 quadrillion black ants in the world. So, Salvador, did you know I averaged six minute miles for the last cross country race? Great, but did you know monarch butterflies travel 35 miles an hour? Wow, two minute miles, that's a record I'll never break. Oomph, this back is killing me. You know, some insects can lift 50 times their weight just with the muscles in their mouth. Don't tell me. Yep, that's like lifting over 8,000 pounds. Look at all the decaying wood around here. This island could use some kind of recycling program. Well, if you believe the legends, the scissor mouth beetle can demolish an entire forest in mere hours. I'd like to see that. Well, if we don't hurry, we just might. It sure is hot. You know, we can count cricket chirps to figure out the temperature. One, two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four. Wouldn't it be easier just to check our thermometer? Does it seem like we've been here forever? You mean like the dragonfly? They've been around for over 300 million years. Funny. They don't look that old. There's a legend that a swarm of Caesar mouth beetles is so big, it blocks the sun for weeks. Really? You know some locust swarms can be 3,200 kilometers long. Wow, 2,000 miles of locusts. That's enough to drive you buggy. <laughs> 